my channel. My name is Julie. I am a home daycare provider and today's video is another daycare haul video. I don't believe I have anything from the thrift store this time. I went to um, Dollar Tree, the Target Dollar Spot. I ordered some stuff off of Amazon. I went to Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and a couple of things off of Wayfair I'm going to show you. So first up, let me show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. I got a couple of different sets of markers. I hadn't seen these before. These ones are the stamp markers, these draw lines, and then the circle markers. I'm not sure how great they're gonna work, again, because they're from the Dollar Tree, but I thought there's six in each one for a dollar. I'll go ahead and try. I needed some more dry erase markers, so I just got two packs of those. I got a thing of shapes, like for cat and dogs. I'll put these on their cubbies, I believe. And then I've seen these in other hauls, these little facial pads, you use these on whiteboards. So I'm gonna try this out. I got a couple different colors. I think I got like four or five of these total. Moving over here, this is actually from the Target Dollar Spot, but I wanted to show you. So I bought these cards, and then I bought an assortment of different animals, like I did buy the dinosaurs. And my thinking is for the kids to kind of match the dinosaur to the card, for the older kids to see if they can do that. I got an assortment of different like bugs and snakes and stuff for our science unit. I got a couple more of these um, motorcycles. The kids really like those. And then I got a couple more of these little semi trucks. These are really cute. These are fairly new as well, I believe, to the Dollar Tree. For the babies, I just got a little soft puzzle. I thought I got two of these because I wanted to do a matching game. So I may have to go back and buy one more of these. And then they had these really cute um, wall decorations. This one is like a train set, different automobiles. And then this is like a farm one. So we'll use those on the wall. I got a couple of puzzles. Now I'm not a huge fan of these kind of puzzles. They don't have, um, oh my gosh, sorry, there's like a glare on there. They don't have like knobs to um, pick the pieces up. So I think what I'm gonna do is look for like wooden spools, I believe they're called and then hot glue them on each piece and then the kids can use it that way. Got a couple of these paint with water um, coloring books. Got a dinosaur one and then an animal one and then just two of these really cute pillows I figure for our little um, reading area right here I'll put them on the chairs. So moving on over to the Target dollar spot I picked up 10 of these clear um, they're like probably pencil cases for back to school. And what I'm gonna do with them is I'm gonna make different little activity bins with them. So in this one, I bought a couple of different um, packs of the foam shapes from the Target Dollar Spot. And then I simply just printed out shape cards. So this could be like an activity that they could do at the table. So I got that. They also had this 15 count of stamps. I thought this was really cute. Again, I can put the stamps in here with like paper and that can be a table activity. Oh, this is from the Dollar Tree, this little backpack. It just has like an assortment of different words and stuff. I thought I would hang that around the room. Right here, I have a Practice the Alphabet whiteboards. These were a dollar from the Target Dollar Spot. And then I found two of these, um, more of these like business professional play kits. I've shown other ones in the past. This is really cute. This is like a laptop. It's like a little phony laptop. I thought maybe I would put actual, like I'll write the letters, or yeah, write like the alphabet on here for the kids. And it comes with like a little carrying case. So I thought that was cute. Those were $3 each. Again, here are some more of those foam shapes I bought. I bought the magnetic shape and number count. This was $3. And I believe that is it for Target. Okay, next is from Hobby Lobby. I came across two of these um, Playside Creation. They're little foam. They're almost like koozies, but I'm not sure um, what we what I'm going to use them for. But they were only a dollar seventy four. Normally six ninety nine. Maybe I could do different colors in each one. Um, this may be something I just hold on to for the future. But they had two of those. And then I came across a whole little tub of craft beads, again, for $1.74. I thought this would be a great activity for the older kids. 
They had for 74 cents this 24 count of paper glasses. I'm sure we can find use for those. And then for $1.74, they had 216 piece of foam sports stickers. And these are nice because they're actual stickers. So with like football coming up, we can use them on that. We could probably do these like for matching as well. For the younger ones, just put like two of each kind in a bin and have them match. So that was it from Hobby Lobby. Next up for Michaels, I got this container. I thought this would be a great art caddy to take outside. I want to say this was like two or three dollars. I love this color, this teal. And then I bought two of these little um, suitcases. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I believe these were three or four dollars as well. Maybe I'll do like a little um, detective kit with that. And the last thing from Michael's was this little alphabet letter. I need something in my craft room. So I believe, again, this was, let me see if it has a price on it, $3. So I really like the way that these letters look on here. I got two stuffed animals from Kohl's. They're $5 stuffed animal bin, and they each have a book. So I think I'm actually going to save these for Christmas gifts. I thought, especially since it has a book, they're $5. Last year I did pajamas, so this would be a great addition if I do the pajamas again and then get each child um, a character with a book. So I need to go back and get those. And then from Amazon, I bought two new teacher planner books. I've used this book in the past. I really like this book. Um, it has, you know, the daily lesson plans in here. I figure one for me, one for my assistant. We may, or maybe I'll do one for like the toddlers, one for infants, just so we kind of know what's going on. I haven't decided what the, um, what to do with that yet. One of the things I bought from Wayfair is this little climber. It was a nine piece foam climber. I think it was maybe like $200. I know that's pretty expensive, but I've been wanting one of these for a while. It doesn't, to me, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. I wish it would have had two more of these to go on each side, but it didn't come Velcro. So what I did is I went to Walmart and bought Velcro pieces and stuck them on the back because otherwise the kids were just um they were all the pieces were going apart and they weren't staying together this has been a huge hit i believe i've had it now for a week or two and the kids absolutely love it what i want to show you is another purchase from wayfair i believe this was around 200 um it's one of the three top bucket seat toddler tables now both or actually all three of my infants are definitely big enough for this table now. I'm very excited. I've wanted one for a long time. My sister actually came across this on Wayfair for that good of a price. So we picked it up. And for right now, I just have it like in this little corner. I'll just put some little activities in that little cubby that they can play with at the table. And hopefully, you know, it has buckles. So hopefully they don't try to crawl out of it. Um, and that's it guys. That's everything that I got for the month of August. Like I said, I went to the thrift stores a couple of weeks ago. I had no luck. So some days you score and some days, you know, you just come across nothing. So this is definitely one of those months. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. I post a lot of tour videos, a lot of haul videos, a lot of day in the life. Um, if there's anything in particular you would like to see, please leave a comment below and I will try to get to that style of a video. And I guess this is it for now. Thank you for watching.